Today I'm going to be doing an ABGX 360 tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set up the program and manually patch SSV2. The game I chose as Stealth is Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2012. First off, you're going to have files from the game that look like this. They're in a bunch of separate archives. And uh, some people get confused on how to extract those. What you're going to want to do is just pick one, right click it, and then click Extract to whatever they're called, and it'll put them in a nice little folder like this one up here. And then you'll have two files that look like this. That's what you want. Uh, if you don't have WinRAR Archiver, which you probably already should, go ahead and download that to get the files that look like this with the little books beside them, and that'll make everything much easier. Next, you are going to need to open up your web browser and go to abgx360.net. Then you're going to want to go to the download tab and download the latest version of ABGX360. I already have that done, so I'm going to minimize my browser and open up ABGX360 and show you the settings you need. Okay, uh, the new ABGX360 has all the right settings. You only need to change two to get everything to work properly. The first one is in the Options tab. You want the verbosity level to be on high. The next one is in the Miscellaneous tab, and you want Split Vid added if it doesn't exist or isn't valid. Make sure you do that. I'm going to click through the tabs real quick just so you can see how mine are set, so you can double check them just in case the video is in high quality so you can open it up full screen and check those if you want. Then you're going to want to go up to File and Save Settings. Save them as default and click OK. When you save them as default, they will then open. Uh, ABGX360 will open with these settings every time that you open it and you won't have to change them every time. OK, I have, this, uh, I have the game extracted to my two files. I'm going to just drag this over here and minimize that again and then I'm going to click launch. Um, what you're going to want to look for when uh, next is any text that isn't green, blue, or white. Anything that's green, blue, or white is okay. Anything that's red or yellow is a caution flag and something you need to look at. Um, I will go through and look at this here after it's done checking. Uh, go ahead and just let it check to 100%. That's always smart to do, and it doesn't take very long. But I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video here just to fly through this. Okay, ABGX uh, completed 100%, ran through. It says you can press any key to exit. That's how you know it's done. But you don't want to press any key to exit right now. Uh, we are going to go up and look through the test that it ran. Everything up here is fine. This game does not have AP25 uh, security, so there's nothing about that up here. We scroll down and we see yellow text in the SS portion of the test, and we see that the SS version is 1. Even if there isn't any red or yellow text in the SS version, you always want to check your SS version after you run the test of a game. Um, technically, the only thing that will cause a flag, supposedly, um, for your console is if any of these values deviate by more than plus or minus 3. So you can see these are minus 2, and this one's minus 1, this one's 0. Really, this should be okay, but you always want to patch with SS version 2 to be safe. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, you will want to go back to abgx360.net and click the Verified tab. I'm just going to get these up right next to each other, make it easy. Um, Next, you're going to need to find your game. The easiest way to do this and find your exact game is to find your XEX CRC in your test window and then go over here to your abgx360.net and search for the XEX CRC that you found. As you can see, mine is right here and mine is 6502108B. I will search for that. You see my game. Tigers with PGA Tour 2012 comes up, and then over here to the right there will be a small number. Go ahead and click the number. You will get some SS version 2 files that you can patch in. The next thing you're going to want to do is go here and see what your SS CRC is in your test window. Mine is right here, and you can see that mine is 8B27C826. There is a matching SS version over here, 8B27C826. I'm going to download that and the DMI file that is in the same row. 
I, that is very important, so I'm going to say it again. Download the DMI file that is in the same row. May, they have to be in the same row. It won't work if they aren't. Um, also, if you cannot find your SSCRC and one that matches over here, just pick one and download the one that is in the same row. Download the SS and the DMI that are in the same row. Very important. Okay, I'm going to minimize this. And now I can go ahead and exit this. So I'm going to click any key to exit my test window. Now you have to change some of your settings in ABGX360 to patch the SSV2. First thing in options, uncheck verify if stealth passes, and then go over to manually patch or extract files, and check patch even if stealth patches, and check patch DMI, and check patch SS. Next, click the little dots over here, and to locate where you downloaded your last two files to. Mine will be on my desktop. You can see these are the same file, just because I've already stealthed this game. So I'm going to just click the first one I downloaded. There's my DMI and open it. I'm going to click the dots for my SS. Once again on my desktop, open that up. And then I'm going to click launch. ABGX won't run all its tests this time. It will just quickly go through and patch it. You can see, press any key to exit. And you can clearly see that up here we had SS version 1. We went through and patched it to SS version 2 trusted down here. And you can see none of the angles deviate from what they are supposed to be on the original game disc right here. But I'm going to go ahead and exit and then close ABGX360 and reopen it. What that did was just get your default settings back. If you really want to go into options and manually patch or extract and just uncheck and recheck everything you did, you can do that as well. But I just find it easier to close than open. The file that I've been stealthing, I'm going to drag it back into ABGX. And then click launch again. Uh, if you saw that that flashed by really quick, the SS version was too. I'm going to go back and look at everything that this found once this is done testing here. Okay, ABGX360 is done. You can see we have press any key to exit. This is at 100%. So I'm just going to scroll up and look at the test this time. You can see there's no yellow or red text this time. And when we look under our SS version, it is too trusted. No deviation in any of these angles. And our SSCRC is still the same as it was because we used a matching file for this game. You are safe to go ahead and press any key and exit. Exit ABGX360. And then go back to the two files that you extracted out of all those archives. And go ahead and double click the image file. Uh, this will open an image burn. If you don't have image burn downloaded, go ahead and go download it. Um, really, you can pretty well just hit burn once you open up image burn, but uh, make sure that your uh, layer break right here is 1913760. That's important. Um, I've been told that ABGX360 will go in and fix your image file as long as it's in the same folder and it's when you're testing it'll just go in and fix that for you but it's always a good idea just to give that a quick glance and make sure that that is where your layer breaks at i don't recommend uh writing at over times eight speed you can write the slower the better just so you don't mess up i mean i know the games take a while to burn because there's a lot of data but go ahead and just burn it slow to avoid wasting discs definitely don't just go hit max and expect them to work you'll more than likely mess it up because the your burner is burning for so long uh, that is all there is for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments. And remember that you need a modded Xbox 360. Your drive will need to be modded with different firmware to run any of these games that you just stealthed. And if you have any questions about that, you can inbox me here on YouTube and I can help you out with that. Uh, thank you for your time and I hope this helps.